In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of how to get started with Easy Green Screen 7. When installed, it's going to be under the Plugins menu in Photoshop. And just to note, it's not going to be under the Filter menu. If you see Easy Green Screen, that's a prior version. So in this case, I've got version 6 installed. And when you install 7, it's not going to uninstall version 6. So that'll still be there if you've got it installed. And under Window, I'm on an M1, so I don't have it. But if you're on a Mac Intel or a Windows machine, you'll have an Extensions menu. And that is for the prior version, not for version 7. So if you see anything there, that's for version 6. Version 7 is only under the Plugin menu. All right, so the user interface is broke down into three screens. There's your home screen here, which has got your area to manage your license. So you could deactivate a license or activate it here. And then you've also got the two blue buttons here, which are your processing screens. There's a single image screen and a batch processing screen. And these are kind of linked together too. So if you go to the single image extraction, you'll have this top area is where you select the settings for your extraction. And unlike version 6, this is the complete opposite of how version 6 worked. With version 7, you select your settings before you hit remove. And it's not going to pop up any adjustment sliders or anything. It's just going to remove the green screen. Version 6, you click the button and then adjust it after it opened the image. I think this actually works better. And once you start working with it, I think most people will agree with me. It's a lot quicker and it's just a lot simpler. And then on your batch processing screen, the settings for your batch processor are all listed here, but those settings you set back on the other screen. So if you hit change batch settings, that takes you back to the same interface where you extract a single image and whatever you set there will be the settings for your batch processor. And then also whatever you have set here, until you close Photoshop, it's going to remember all of your settings. Once you close Photoshop, it's going to reset back to default. I may have it in a future version where the user can set their custom defaults too. Um, but any, anyway, if you got anything selected and you want to um, get back to the defaults here, if you're not sure which settings are default, just click Reset Settings and that'll reset everything. And really there's not too much here you usually will need to adjust. The default settings usually work pretty well because version 7 will automatically optimize its algorithm to make most extractions work really well with the defaults. And the things of course that you'll need to adjust are the screen color, green or blue. This is not going to automatically analyze and choose green or blue for you. Version 6 did that, but I found that was taking a couple seconds per image and it was slowing down the extractions during the batch. And also sometimes it was wrong. It would have, it see blue clothing and extract blue instead of green or vice versa. So I just made it so the user selects their screen color now. And then the three main things that you'll usually adjust is for the spill correction, if they're wearing yellow clothing, you would select, put that to yellow. But if they're not, then use full. Those are the two main settings you'll use. And then the defringing, this is for the fringe areas around the extraction. And it's called non-hair defringe. Um, it will apply to the whole image, but then if you have the auto hair refine, this will run afterwards and get the hair back. So that's why this is called non-hair. But those are the three main ones that you'll use. And I'll just demonstrate here with the auto hair refine and hit remove screen. And this replaces the dual mask from Easy Green Screen 6. So you, no longer do you have to lasso around the hair. And you typically get as good and sometimes better results. The results may differ. I mean, sometimes you may even get a little bit better results in version 6 versus the auto hair. But overall, I think it's pretty comparable when you look at a volume of images. I think you'll have as many that are good or probably more that are a little better in version 7 and 6, I think. So it's a lot easier. Um, if you want to even fine tune more your hair, if you hit this open selected mask when you run, 
it's going to run your extraction and we had auto hair selected and selected mask then it's going to bring us into this screen and you see it's already done a good job on the hair but if you wanted to you could grab your refine brush and brush over the edges and further refine it I don't know if I'm even doing any better than it was but if you already like the results and don't need the brush you could just hit OK so that's another way you can um, customize the output of your hair or anything else when it opens select the mask you can use any of the options in there um, except except for one you can't use the um, decontaminate colors because that doesn't work with easy green screens spill correction it already does I go over all that more in the video that discusses this specifically the rest of the settings I will discuss in another video because I don't want this first video to go forever but um, like I say these are the three main ones you'll adjust I do have a video specifically for yellow clothing so make sure to watch that one too so the, the last thing I'm going to, going to show you here is um, how to put your image into a background because let's just make a new file here because this is something that that people um let's just put a solid color in here just to make it really simple this is something that a lot of people do wrong and don't understand so I want to cover this in the first video is Easy Green Screen creates a non-destructive layer set and people who understand Photoshop will understand that um, these layers need merged together or, or else you're going to lose these layers that are clipped. These are your spill correction layers and if you just try to move over the foreground layer you see that there's green spill in the hair and if we look at this we can really see that green spill and that's because I moved this over incorrectly so what you need to do is these buttons on the bottom this post extraction work there's a button called merged into single layer you click on that it's going to put this all in a single layer and then if you wanted to do your dragging you could drag it over and after it merged it you can see this now has the spill correction applied in the hair whereas when we just drug that one layer by itself it didn't if you didn't want to do it that way the command Z out of there so if you have all of your layers here and you don't want to actually merge those you can do the copy merge to clipboard and this will copy what you see is what you get on the screen to your clipboard and so it copied them as if we had merged them but it didn't actually merge those then if you command or control V to paste you can see that both of these images on the right that were done correctly have spill correction in the hair so the hair is not green the one on the left where I did it incorrectly there is spill in the hair so just make sure you're aware of that and also why I'm thinking about it because I just did this um, you can put this easy green screen panel wherever you want so you can dock it in this little pop-out menu you can float it in your user interface you can put it in its own column which is kind of a cool way to always keep it open and so that way you can just use it whenever you want and it's already there now there's only one panel with easy green screen um, but I may make another one so for, for this post extraction work button I think for version 7.1 I'm gonna create an additional panel so you could have both open you could have your extraction panel maybe over on the left side and then a post extraction workflow with some buttons that do Photoshop aided work after you're you've extracted because there's actually quite a bit of stuff I could build into a panel for that I didn't do it here just because of space I didn't want to clutter up the um, main extraction panel but just be aware that for version 7.1 that's probably coming so anyways that about covers the getting started video I'm going to dive into a lot of these things in more detail so make sure to watch the other videos as well